Here today, I am here with Jipo and with Ruta in Kachin State in northern Myanmar. And I'm standing on land with behind me a vast water reservoir that has been built by the local community here in Kachin. The land that I'm standing on belongs to Jipo and stretches back many generations in his family. What has happened in this area is that the conflict that has really intensified over the last five years has forced the displacement of this whole community. Where we are today has been contested land and as the conflict raged on, people were displaced into IDP camps all, all across Kachin. But as some of these people have returned home, a second war has started on these poor families. The land that he had here has now been turned into a banana plantation owned by a Chinese company. The reservoir behind me has been poisoned by the chemicals coming from these bananas with their fish dying and also causing the death of the, their animals and a huge decline in the amount of rice they can produce as a result of the chemicals coming from this reservoir. As Trokra, it is vitally important that we stand alongside people in these rural communities to help them protect the rights to the really to the only asset that they have and control. The livelihoods of these families are not based on handouts, they are based on being able to access and use the land in order for them to have a sustainable future for them and their children. Our call is not just for resources to work with rural families, but also for political action at the global and local level to ensure that people's rights are respected and to ensure that people can live a life of dignity and sustainability.